Hey guys, and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve, and today we're looking at the Parnas Explorer 2 homage. This is a watch that was released just a few weeks ago, and it's a watch that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, if you follow the channel or follow me on my social media, you'll know that I am a huge fan of the Rolex Explorer 2 from the 90s and early 2000s, uh, more specifically the 16570 reference. Uh, it is my ultimate grail piece. So uh, because of that, I've tried everything to get the look and the feel of that watch. Uh, I tried the Bleeger GMT Master 2 with the uh, polar dial in it, um, which was pretty nice, but it just didn't do it for me. Um, I tried the Pagani Explorer 2. Uh, that one was also pretty nice, but it just never... Uh, never really felt right for me. It was just too big. But anyway, uh, so here we are today looking at this. It's a proper 40 millimeter Polar Explorer 2 homage, uh, and it has scratched the itch uh, far better than anything else that I've seen on the market and anything that I've had personally. So um, it is it is not perfect, uh, but it is really, really good. So this watch is offered in the white dial and black dial. It is also offered with the uh, oyster style bracelet you see here, as well as a Jubilee style bracelet. So you do have a couple options there. Uh, the retail price for this watch is about $95. Uh, I've seen it dip down to the $83 range. It is on sale at the time I'm shooting this video, but I'm not sure I'm going to get it uploaded in time for you to pull it, pick it up. Uh, and it is on sale for $83. So um, really good price for this watch, I think. So what do you get for your $95 or so? Uh, you get a full 316L stainless steel case, stainless steel bracelet, solid link, solid end links, milled clasp. Uh, you get a sapphire crystal, screw down crown, screw down case back, and you're getting some water resistance. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and you're getting an automatic GMT movement. So if you're looking for a nice homage to the smaller Explorer 2s, this may be the one for you. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, is it worth your money? Uh, let's dig in and find out. So first things first, we'll do the dimensions. So we've got about 40 and a half on the diameter, 12.7 millimeters thick, 20 millimeter lug width. Lug tip to lug tip is just under 48 millimeters. And with the male protruding links, it is 52.6. So it is a really good size. I do like the, the size of it. It is that 40 millimeter sweet spot, you know, right under 48 millimeter lug to lug. Um, yeah, it does wear really good. It kind of reminds me of a, a Submariner case. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what they're using. They're just using a Submariner case with a fixed bezel on it. So, um, yeah, it, it is pretty flat, uh, but pretty thin profile. I think it does look really good as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it, it, it just works for me. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it, it does just work for me. So I'm going to go outside right now and throw it on the wrist for you. So here we are on my seven and a half inch wrist. And as you can see, it wears just, uh, Pretty close to perfect in my opinion uh, it does have that sub style dimensions so it's going to wear similar to a sub but maybe a little bit thinner than a sub so uh, just keep that in mind it does sit pretty flat on the wrist but because it's you know fairly short lug to lug it does wear really really good and you can see here uh, all the brush surfaces they got a nice shine to them i think um yeah I, I do like the way this thing looks on the bracelet it looks really good uh, let's get in some direct sunlight here and there you can see in some direct sunlight does look really good still extremely legible no no real problems reading it it does get a little bit washed out as you can see there but for the most part it's it's a very legible watch so uh, yeah do really like it but i'm gonna go throw down some straps for you and we'll get back to the review here we are on a rubber b style strap i'll uh, leave a link for this one down below um but yeah this one does work really good on this case i think it looks looks really really good very comfortable and yeah it actually you know sits pretty nicely with the watch so uh, very happy with this one got a few more straps though here we are on a gray silicon elite from barton uh yeah it looks pretty good i always think these kind of thicker cases they don't really look great on many straps but this one actually looks pretty decent so what do you guys think yeah, here we are on a Marine National elastic style strap. Uh, I think it looks pretty good with the gray and the white. What do you guys think? I'm thinking about getting one of these with the uh, orange stripe on it to match that GMT hand. But uh, yeah, I do think this looks pretty good. 
And here we are on a black ribbed NATO strap. Two layers under it still sits pretty good. Um, yeah, it's pretty typical of uh, like a Submariner style case. So uh, yeah, I do like it. Looks pretty good. It's uh, actually pretty comfortable. So let me know what you guys think. But let's go back inside and we'll get back to the review. So let's zoom in and talk about the case finishing. So we have a vertical brushing on the tops of the lugs here. You got a polished sides here. I think the, the brushing is done really well, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, you're getting a really good view of it here. Really nice linear brushing. It all goes in the same direction. Nice, Nicely done, I think. The polishing, as you can see, let's see if I can show you here. So right here, you can see along the line from the dark to the, the light reflection there, you can see those little peaks that we we talk about when we're talking about these Chinese homages. You know, they, from a distance, it, it looks fine. Uh, but when you really start to to nitpick it, um, you do see where they, they're cutting costs. So just keep that in mind. Um, it really hasn't bothered me at all. Like I said, from a distance and when you're just, you know, wearing it, you, you don't even notice it. Uh, on the opposite side, again, you have the polished sides. You have polished crown guards. Pretty nicely done. Uh, you have a polished crown here with the Parnas P on it. Really nicely done as well. The case finishing transitions uh, done really well. Um, yeah, I, I see no like soft edges or anything like that. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. The bezel itself, again, nicely done. It's got a radial brushing, so it comes from the center and goes out all around. Looks really good. Plays with the light pretty nicely. Um, you can see the numerals here are filled with black paint. Done again, really nicely. Maybe not quite as nice as the Pagani was done, but um, I, I think for the price point, it's it's done just fine it does look really really good uh, and then the bottom edge of that bezel is polished and you can see I've, I've picked up some scratches on this thing i took this camping and uh yeah it's taken a beating so far and but yeah looks really good still i do like the case finishing on it. i think they did it really well the case back on it uh it's just your typical submariner style case back i, I don't like when they use these case backs because they're kind of a pain to open up if you ever need to um but yeah it, it, it's it's fine um unsigned uh, pretty unspectacular. You do have circular brushing on the bottom of the lugs and the case I think is done really well. There's, you know, it's a little bit sharp on this edge here, but nothing that has uh, bothered me during normal use. So overall, the, the case finishing is good. Um, maybe not quite up to the standards of uh, Pagani design, but um, pretty darn close, I think. The crystal on this. It is a sapphire crystal. The Cyclops is also sapphire. It's hard to measure that one, but it is sapphire. <clears throat> so that's nice to see, especially at this price point. Um, it is just a flat sapphire crystal, no anti-reflective coating. Uh, I don't really think the white dial really needs it. Um, black dial might be a little bit different, but this white dial I think looks pretty good with it. It does sit ever so slightly above the bezel, as you can see there, with a nice chamfer. So it does look really good. And the Cyclops on it, surprisingly, uh, it's spot on. I mean, they nailed it. Good magnification. And uh, yeah, I think it does a pretty good job of magnifying. So uh, really happy to see that. So let's talk about the dial. So the dial on this, it is a glossy white dial, really nicely done. I don't know if it's showing up on here or not, if it, that it's gloss, but it is a gloss dial, no sunburst or anything to it, no texture to it. Uh, pretty nicely done. You got a black printed minute track around the outside. You have applied indices, which pretty nicely done, I think. They do have some depth to them. And uh, they're kind of a gunmetal-ish, uh, polished gunmetal-ish color. Uh, really dark, dark gray, I think. Uh, they do look really good most of the time. I wish they would just paint them black, um, but it, it doesn't look bad in my opinion. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, the Parnas Mechanical Movement Automatic at 12 o'clock. So they did this because the 2021 version of the Explorer 2 has all this information at the top. Uh, I, it doesn't bother me, but I really wish they would just leave it as Parnas and then automatic GMT down here. But um, yeah, it is what it is. It hasn't bothered me too much. Uh, the water resistant, we'll talk about that in just a little bit uh, when we talk about the crown. And then 21 joules, this is actually a 22 joule movement. So a um, couple things going on on the dial. Um, I, I don't think it looks bad. Uh, I just wish they would have done it just a little bit differently. The date window here, as you can see, uh, it's centered nicely. It's pretty much spot on. You got no problems with it. The hands, uh, really nicely done. That GMT hand, got that needle point, 
reaches all the way out to the uh, the minute track there. Same with that second hand, reaches right right to the tip of that uh, that minute track. And then the hour hand, nicely sized I think. And then minute hand, uh, maybe just a tad short. But again, it's one of those things where it, it hasn't bothered me. Like the uh, the Pagani Explorer Two, uh, definitely had two small hands. This one uh, I think looks looks really good. All the indices and all the hands are filled with loom. Uh, the loom is not great on this thing. So I will pop up a loom shot. Here you can see it against my modded escapement time on the left-hand side and the Kronos GMT on the right-hand side. You can see the Parnas. It's got that dark blue loom. Uh, it's not good and it is evenly applied, which is nice to see, but it fades quickly and it just... It, can't hold up against the uh, the other models. So uh, don't buy this thing for the loom, it's not great. Let's talk about the movement. So the movement inside of this is the DG3804B. It is a movement that I've had in plenty of watches before. It's been accurate for me. This one, no exception. It is under 10 seconds a day fast. Uh, been pretty happy with it. I've come to um, understand it a little bit and it makes it a little bit easier so if you've had this movement and you have problems with that gmt hand jumping stick around for just a second so it is operated by this three o'clock crown again it is signed with that parnas p nicely done and we're going to talk about the water resistance real quick so i'm going to pop this out to the third position and you can see there's a gasket right there that's something you normally don't see on watches with 30 meters or 50 meters of water resistance. So uh, looking at the listing, this is listed as both 30 and 50 meters of water resistance. So uh, take that for what it is. Um, but with that gasket there, it also has a gasket inside the crown. It also has a gasket inside the case back. Um, I think that Parnas has been using these low water resistance ratings to kind of get around complaints about uh, water intrusion on their watches, if it ever happens. Um, but uh, anyone that I have taken apart, um, they all have the gaskets in the right spot. I have taken them swimming. I've had no problems with them. Uh, I think these things are good for at least 100 meters. Um, but that's just me. I, I, I would be comfortable taking this swimming. Um, but that might not be your case. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, I, I think I think it was Gary from the I Like Watches channel. Um tested a Parnas Submariner homage, which is rated for 30 meters of water resistance. And he threw it in his pressure tester and it passed his pressure test. So, um, and that was, I believe up to 70 meters. So just keep that in mind. I think these things are fine for uh, light swimming. I wouldn't take it scuba diving, but I think if you're dipping your hands in the pool or uh, maybe even just a light swim, I think it should be fine. So just keep that in mind. Um, anyway, back to the movement. Um, so again, this is the DG3804B, and it is a automatic GMT movement. The first position here, if you unscrew the crown, um, you hand wind the movement. The second position, you can see it doesn't heck yet. Uh, you roll the crown forward, and it flips the date. Really nicely done. You roll it backwards, and it adjusts the GMT hand. So what I like to do is if you get it, get the GMT hand wherever you want it, and if you press it, you're going to see the GMT hand jump. See it jump there for about, jumped about a minute, right? So get it to where you want it, and then if you roll the crown backwards just a hair and then press it, it doesn't jump. So just keep that in mind. I, every single one of these Chinese G, cheap Chinese GMT automatic movements uh, have been the same for me. Um, whether it's in a Parnas or a Bliger or a uh, Pagani design, they all act the same. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's something that I've figured out and it hasn't bothered me. So uh, yeah, no big deal. So pulling the crown out to the third position allows you to set the time. And I want to show you guys something actually. Give me a moment. So watch the date snap over. Really happy with this. It's almost spot on instant click over at midnight so i mean it clicked over at three minutes before midnight but yeah that's one of these things that the the dg movements are, are really good at they got that instant click over um, they're relatively quiet movements they do have a single direction winding rotor uh, but they're not noisy they do hack they do hand wind 40 hours of power reserve about um yeah i've got no real problems with them i'm gonna see if you guys can hear this or not 
Yeah, it, I don't know if you could hear it or not, but definitely not as bad as um, like the Miyota. Miyota movement is extremely noisy in my opinion. So let's talk about the bracelet here. Uh, like I mentioned, you can get it in two bracelet styles. This one is the three link oyster style. You can get it in the five link Jubilee. Uh, I have no experience with the Jubilee. Uh, I've heard pretty good things about it, but uh, yeah, you might want to look for a different review about that. So it does taper from 20 down to 16 millimeters at the clasp. So a nice taper to the bracelet. You have solid links. You do have solid end links. The brushing is done really nicely. It matches the case just perfectly, I think. I mean, look at that. that you know, it matches the curvature of the case really nicely. Uh, the fitment of the end links inside the lugs are really, really good. Um, I mean, really good. Uh, very happy with that. Uh, you got nice sharp transitions between the uh, the lower part and the upper part of that link. Uh, it does protrude ever so slightly, but not a huge deal in my opinion. But yeah, the brushing I think is done really nicely. Um, definitely on par, or uh, it might maybe even surpasses Pagani's. So uh, pretty happy with that polishing on the sides you do have screw pins for adjusting as you can see there uh, i had to remove three links for my seven and a half inch wrist and there's one two three more removable links so um yeah this should fit down to six and a half inch wrist probably um yeah pretty happy with it the clasp on it so this is one sticking point with parnas is that the clasp is not uh not typical and we'll talk about that in just a second so you have a brush clasp uh, it does have that Parnas uh, logo etched in there. Pretty nicely done. You have polished on the sides here. You have three micro adjusts. You have double pushers here for the release. Everything works pretty good. You do have a little bit of decoration on the uh, clasp there, which is nice to see. Everything else is just polished. Uh, it is all milled. Nicely done. Uh, one of the things is that this is as far open as I can get this. And that's because they put this link here on this side of the clasp instead of on that side. I'm not sure why they do it. Uh, it's just weird and it it makes it a little bit difficult to get your hand through um, I've gotten used to it. And I have pretty big hands I also have pretty big wrists, but if you have big hands and small wrists uh, It might be really tough for you to get this on so just keep that in mind uh, Overall though the operation of the clasp is is really good I've got no problems with it nice and smooth. It does have an easy link adjustment here So you can pop that out and hey it actually works unlike my last three Pagani designs. So as far as the bracelet goes, uh, I am really happy with it um, for the price. I mean, it, it's obviously not nearly as well, nice as, uh, you know, San Martin or anything like that. But, you know, this is a $85 watch usually. And, you know, you've, you've got a little bit of flex in here, which is what you want to see. There's not any, like this first link uh, feels a lot better than some of the Paganis I've had, the end link fitment. Is just, I mean, spot on. Look at that. That looks, that looks really good. It's as, almost as good as I've, I've seen. So, um, yeah, really happy with the the end link fitment on it. Really happy with the bracelet overall, especially for the price. Uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's really not a bad bracelet at all. So let's talk about any quality control issues. Did I have any? Uh, the only thing I can see is this end link fitment right here. Just a hair, just a hair off. Just a hair. It still sits in there snug, um, but I think the the end link itself was cut at a slight angle. Maybe um, I can't really tell, but uh, it does still fit in there nicely. It doesn't rattle or anything like that. So overall, pretty happy with that alignment on the dial and the hands. Uh, it is spot on within a minute uh, or two. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy with it. Crown threading was good. Screws came out nicely. Everything in the clasp works well. Um, one thing I did notice is that the numerals on the bezel maybe slightly off uh, right here is a good thing you can see that 12 shifted over just a little bit um, 14 16 18 looks pretty much maybe just a little bit off uh, again it hasn't bothered me um, I don't expect it to be perfect uh, but it would be nice to get it just a little bit rotated a little just a tiny bit just a tiny bit something to work on for version 2 maybe so there you have it. That's the 40 millimeter Parnas Explorer 2 homage. Um, I think it's it scratched my itch, at least for now. Um, I'm still hoping for something a little bit nicer, something in the San Martin range. But uh, for now, uh, I think this is a really good option. Just something to get uh, until something better comes along. And this, I think, is the best Explorer homage that you can buy, personally. Um, 
that the Pagani one is is pretty good. I will admit that Pagani one is pretty nice, uh, just a little bit too big, and I've heard that it's too big from multiple people. So, um, yeah, I think this is your number one or number two option right now. Um, really hoping San Martin Kronos, if you guys are listening, make this, make this, make this, make this. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this, uh, I'm going to leave a link down below. That is an affiliate link. I really do appreciate when you guys use my links. It really helps the channel grow. And uh, we had a great 1111 sale. I've got four watches coming in, I think. So really happy with that, guys. Thank you so much for using my links. I really do appreciate it. And we'll be doing some giveaways and stuff like that. So uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on uh, Reddit. I'll be leaving all my info down below. Um, if you guys want to see some more pictures of this, uh, I'll be leaving my Instagram account down below. Like I just mentioned, go check it out. This one will be staying in the collection at least for a while. Uh, really happy with it. I do like it. If you guys have any questions or comments, I really want to know what you guys think about this thing. Would you go with this one or would you go with the Pagani? Um, personally, I go this one every time, every single time. Really, really happy with it. I think that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.